hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome my name is genuinely AJ and I want to bring you hairstyles uh, with my type 4 hair I believe I have 4C hair and this time around I've done a wash and go and I want to show you guys how it looks like and what I did to achieve this wonderful style so I used the uh, Talia Wajid um, styling cream the coal cream and then I use the extreme wet uh, gel extreme wet line I believe it's called and that's how I achieved my wash and go so I'm going in with water first to saturate my hair make it soaking wet and then I'm applying the Talia Wajid Coal Curly Coral Cream first before going in with the gel I really wanted this wash and go to be you know really uh to last a long time because i will carry my hair for two weeks and for my curls to really clump and i believe using a curl cream and a gel would achieve that for me and i believe you did a great job defining my curls as you can see here i have four c4b hair and um yeah this this is the best my hair can curl up uh, I don't have you know the springly curls and I'm just lightly gently you know twisting it up so that it would not shrink up when I'm done um the twist will keep the curls elongated f for the duration of its drying and I think I think it took like two days for my head to dry because of the soaking wetness of it I had to use a lot of water to achieve the style so I'm just raking my hands through the curls and then finger detangling to make sure that it's all smooth you can tell in this video that I did not use any tool no comb no brush I just wanted to see how it would look like without any tool and and it came out well if I if I do say so myself and I'm twisting this up again just like I said to keep the curls elongated if I just leave it like that um, yeah it's gonna shrink up <laughs> all the way up to my ears and I don't want that uh, I've seen a couple of youtubers do this of course to prevent shrinkage and that's what I'm doing as well And I, I, I like wash and go because it's kind of faster than any other style. It takes less time to complete. And usually I'm not a gel kind of girl. I don't really like using gel on my hair. But I just wanted to test it out this time around to see how it would look. And my curls in the front, they're the tightest. They're the 4C part. So I used a lot of product in the front and I could see that at the end of it when it dries down it, it was a little flaky in front because I used much more product just to make the curls come out. Anyway the curls are juicy, they're clumping and I love it. <laughs> yeah I'm nodding my head like yeah. It's really doing something. The Talia Wajit Curl Cream, it's one of my favorite creams, um, curl creams to use on my hair. The thickness is just so good that it can, you know, bring any curl back to life, especially if you have tight, very tight curls like I do. It, it would definitely define it. So if you're one of those girls that say, oh, I don't have curls, my hair cannot curl up, just try the Talia Wajid Curl Cream and you see what I mean. I'm trying to shingle as well, but I know that's going to take so much time, so I'm not really focusing on it. I'm focusing on, you know, the curls coming out and just separating curls.
And I'm really taking my time to do this because, you know, um, it, it's giving it's gonna give the best results. And I can tell that my hair on one side of my head is longer than the other because I recently cut my hair two weeks ago, no, two months ago or thereabouts. And yeah, I cut off about three inches because my hair was just shedding too much. I, I just knew that the ends were kind of weak and were causing my hair to shed a lot. So I had to sh chop it up myself. And yeah, I've, I've noticed definitely less shedding. So I'm just doing the same thing all over my hair. Use the Talia Wajid first and then the wet line gel. And then twist in a loose, loosely twisted odd every section up So I'm done with all the sections. This is the final results before drying and this is after it's dried after two days. And I'm just using oil on my hand to unravel each section, each, each twist. You can see that it has shrunk up a little bit. Yeah. Imagine if I didn't twist it up, it would be like really even shorter. So I'm unraveling every twist and then making sure that each section is separated, uh, the individual calls that I and I must say that it, it really came out well. I mean, this is the first time I'm trying those two products together. And it, it flaked in front a little bit, but everywhere else was fine. And like I said, my hair and my perimeters, the front and then the side, they are the four C's and they don't really call up as much. But everywhere else is, you know, it's good. And some people go in with a comb to um, separate the roots, to comb out the roots. I, I, I wouldn't do that because I don't want the hair to be too big. So I'm just fluffing and separating and making sure all the calls are a good and then this is how I will this is how I would style it with a headband this is how I styled it all throughout the two weeks that I carried it I mean for like a week and then the second week was all in a bun for the most part but at least I wasn't like you know, constantly combing and um, manipulating the hair. I didn't remoisturize or anything. It was it was good for the two weeks. I would just fluff and go.
yeah I think it looks good this way this is me trying to show you <laughs> I don't know what I was doing here guys <laughs> don't mind me I was, I'm, I was trying to be sexy I, I suppose but yeah I'm really feeling the hair I love the end result and this is how I slip in it I put it in two bonds and then I slip that way this is my hair before I twisted it out and this is the final results thank you for watching